What is the matter with you? What did you see? Upon opening my eyes, I had seen the same scene I watched before at the field. I had seen the same man. This time, however, he was almost touching me. I saw his face. There was an air of familiarity about it. I almost knew who he was. The scene vanished when Don Juan hit me on the head. I looked up at Don Juan. He had his hand ready to hit me again. He laughed, and I let go of his leg and relaxed on my mat. He ordered me to look straight ahead and not to turn around for any reason in the direction of the water at the back of his house. I then noticed for the first time that it was pitch black in the room. For a moment, I was not sure whether I'd opened my eyes or not. I touched them with my hands to make sure. I called Don Juan loudly and told him something was wrong with my eyes. I could not see at all. While a moment before, I had seen him ready to hit me. I heard his laughter over my head to the right, and then he lit his kerosene lantern. My eyes adapted to the light in a matter of seconds. Everything was as it always has been. The waddle and daub walls of the room, and the strangely contorted dry medicinal roots hanging on them, the bundles of herbs, the thatched roof, the kerosene lantern hanging from the beam. I had seen the room hundreds of times, yet this time I felt there was something unique about it and about myself. This was the first time I did not believe in the final reality of my perception. I had been edging towards that feeling and perhaps intellectualized it at various times, but never had I been on the brink of serious doubt. This time, however, I did not believe the room was real, and for a moment I had the strange sensation that it was a scene which would vanish if Don Juan wrapped me on top of my head with his knuckles again. I began to shiver without being cold. Nervous spasms ran down my spine. My head felt heavy, especially in the area above my neck. I complained that I did not feel well and told him what I had seen. He laughed at me, saying that to succumb to fright was a miserable indulgence. You're frightened without being afraid. You saw the ally staring at you. Big deal. Wait until you have him face to face before shitting your pants. <laughs>